Today we're going to talk about literal equations. So literal equations is just a way to manipulate um, a situation that is occurring. So when we have multiple letters, so if you look at V equals L times W times H, that is the volume formula, length times width times height. So it just means taking an existing formula, like this formula, and solving for a different variable. So let's say I know the volume, and I know the length, and I know the height, but I don't know the width. So I want to rearrange this in order to solve for W. So they'll always give you the problem, and they'll tell you what to solve for. And I like to use a highlighter and highlight in my problem what I'm solving for. So I know I'm trying to get this one alone. So I just use the um, inverse operations to move things. So if I think about L times W times H, to undo multiplication, I do division. So I'm going to divide. I want W to stay alone. I'm going to divide by L and H on both sides. So this L cancels out and H cancels out. I'm left with just a W which is what I'm going for, and then I have V divided by L times H. So this would be my final answer. So I just manipulated it. So we're gonna try a few. You'll need a highlighter to help you highlight um, which variable we're solving for. All right, B, we're gonna solve for Y. So we're gonna highlight our Y, solving for y, and we want to get everything else away. Well, we have a positive 2x, and then we have a positive z, so we want to move these things over away from y. We want y all along. So we're going to do one thing at a time. So minus 2x, and we'll minus 2x. And I can't combine it with m because they're not like terms. So right now I have a negative 2x plus m equals y plus z. Again, I'm still solving for my y, so now I've got to move over my z. So minus z, minus z, and I cannot combine it with anything over here because there's no other like term with z. But So it's going to be a whole thing. Now, it doesn't matter which way we write this. We can leave it as 2, negative 2x plus m minus z equals y. We could rearrange this. This could be m minus 2x minus z. Those are all equivalent. So just make sure whatever way, and you're checking the answer key, that it's equivalent. So it doesn't matter what you put first, as long as the negative is in front of the 2x, positive m, and a negative z. And so this would be our final answer. All right, so this one you're going to solve for h. So I want you to pause the video and see what you get. So in this one, we had a fraction. So I decided to clear the fraction. So I picked a denominator, 2, and I multiplied each piece. So 2 times a got me the 2a. And then 2 can go into 2 once, and 1 times bh is bh. Then I want to get the b away from the h. So I divide just by the b on both sides. The b's cancel out, and I'm left with just h on this side. And then 2a divided by b. So my answer is 2a divided by b equals h. All right, this one you're going to solve for A. So pause and try it. So here I moved over the B first, plus B on both sides. Now, notice that I could have C plus B or B plus C. Because it's adding, it doesn't matter which one comes first. It would matter if it was subtraction. We were doing numbers. So but this one doesn't matter. And then I divide by X to get A alone. So my answer is A equals C plus B divided by X, or I could have it reversed A equals B plus C divided by X. All right, let's go to option E. So this time we're going to solve for L, and I make the L's cursive so the stand out don't look like a 1. So we're going to solve for L, and notice I have 2's with it. I'm still going to move things over the same exact way. I'm still moving whole pieces over. So minus 2H minus 2h. I can write this with negative 2h first or the p first. I'm going to write the p first. It just looks cleaner. And 2l. Again, I'm still solving for l. And now I have two l's and I need to divide by 2. So divide by 2 on all pieces. Now this one looks a little bit different. I can actually write it two different ways. I can leave it just like this. p minus 2h divided by 2 equals L, perfectly fine, or I can think about it this way. I'm taking each piece 
the p divided by 2 and the negative 2h divided by 2. So each of those is getting divided by 2. So I can think about it this way. p divided by 2 and then minus, well, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and I just have the h. So I have minus h equals l. These are both the exact same value, exact same answer. They just look a little bit different. All right, let's go to f. I want you to try to solve for b. Pause it and see how you can do. All right, again, I had a fraction, so I will pick it to clear it. Then I used 2, and 2 times a is 2a. And then 2 can go into 2 once. 1 times 1 is 1, and that whole thing is being multiplied by bh. So 1 times bh is just bh. Then divide by h, and I'm left with b alone, which is what I am solving for. And then I have 2a divided by h equals b. So this is my answer. All right, this is a one star. So this one is gonna get a little bit more complex. Notice we've got some different pieces at the top, some fractions and some multiple regions, and we're solving for x. We also have a decimal in here. So we're solving for x. So let's highlight our x, and we wanna get it alone. So we'll work through this one. We see a fraction, so the first thing we're gonna do is clear that fraction. So the only denominator we have is five. So five can go into five one time, and remember one is being multiplied times all of the stuff that's up here, okay? Now we wouldn't have had to write it this since it's one, but I wanted you to remember that. And then five times 4.5 is 22.5. Now, I'm just gonna rewrite this without the bubble there. So three AX minus N equals 22.5. And again, we're still solving for the x, so we're gonna start moving things left to right. Well, I can't move anything with the x next to it yet, so I'm but I can't move this n. So plus n, plus n. So I'm left on this side with 3ax equals 22.5 plus n. Now, I just want the x, and this is multi multiplying, so I'm gonna just divide by the other pieces I want away from x, so 3a. And I'm dividing all the pieces, so I can think about this piece is being divided by that and this piece is being divided by that. Since I can't simplify any further, I can think about the whole thing being divided by 3a. So then these cancel out, and I'm left with just x equals 22.5 plus n divided by 3a. That is my final answer. All right, we're going to go to a three star. This time you're going to solve for the big A. So pause the video and see how you do. All right, with this one, we're going to clear the fraction first. Remember to not touch inside the bubble when you're clearing the fraction. You want to get the postman all cleared up, ready to deliver to the houses, but you don't want to touch the bubble inside. That would make a big mistake. So we're going to do two times each piece that's not inside the bubble. So 2s. And then two can go into two one time. One times n is just n. Leave the bubble alone. Now, once we get the bubble alone, we can now distribute. We're still solving for a. So 2s can stay. And then n times a gives us n a plus n p. Now, we can move the n p over because we're still trying to just solve for the big a. So minus n p minus NP, so we have 2S minus NP equals NA. Now we want to get just the A alone, so it's being multiplied by the N, so we're going to divide by N, all pieces. So the N's are now gone. I can leave it like this as 2S minus NP divided by N equals A, or I can think about it like this. 2s is being divided by n, and negative mp is being divided by n. And I can simplify this. 2s over n, I can't make any simpler. But n and np, these can cancel out, and I would have minus p equals a. That's another way to write it, and both of those are perfectly acceptable. All right, we're gonna go to a Mac Daddy star i. So this one is a toughie. Notice we're gonna solve for x, and x is on both sides of the equation. 
we have to first be able to get those X's together in order to get them alone. So we are gonna think about a new method. So when we distribute, so when we think about when we distribute something, let's say this, X times 5A plus 4C, we end up with 5AX plus 4CX. So what we're gonna have to do in here is we're gonna have to pull out a common variable. And when we do that, once we get them together, that's called factoring. So pay close attention to what we're gonna do here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get things together. We've gotta to get the X's together. So to do that, we're gonna have to move this whole piece right here over to the other side of the wall. So we're gonna do plus 4CX and plus 4CX. Now we can't combine the 5AX and the 4CX because they're not like terms. So, but we can put them on the same side. So we end up with 5AX plus 4CX minus B equals D. Now, we want the X's to stay together, but that little B can go away to the other side. So let's move him over. Plus B plus B. So now we just have 5AX plus 4CX now equals D plus B or B plus D, either way. Now, that we have the X's together and nothing else is being added along, but each of these pieces have X's, it's almost like your dad um, having uh, your sibling with you and then your mom having the, the twin with them. So they're gonna pull out together. They wanna go play together, okay? So we're going to pull out, which is called factoring, we're gonna factor X out. So we pull out the X and we say, well, if we pull out the X, what do we have left? So what you're thinking is 5AX divided by the X, these would go out, we just have 5A left. And we're gonna do the same thing to the 4CX. If we pull the X out, we have 4C left. And the X is now sitting outside of the bubble. The other side stays the same. So now that we want to get X alone, that's the whole goal here, is to have these X's alone, we are going to now take them, and this is being multiplied, we're going to divide by what's in the bubble. And this is like a little couple, we can't separate them. That whole thing is being divided. So I like to use parentheses to kind of help me remember not to forget a piece. So then these cancel out, and I'm left with X equals D plus B over 5A plus 4C. This would be my final answer. Now, when you get an answer, if you would have done something differently first, um, like maybe move over the 5AX, subtracted it first, you would have gotten something a little bit different. You would have gotten X equals negative B minus D over negative 4C minus 5A. Those are actually equivalent. So you need to make sure when you're looking, this is complete opposites of things that are being done here, and that is perfectly acceptable. So make sure if you get something that's a little bit different from the answer key that you're looking, it may just be complete opposite sign issue. So these both are acceptable. All right, let's do our last one. Again, it is a Mac Daddy star, 10 star, and we're going to solve for X. So this is the same kind of method that we just did um, I want you to think about factoring, pulling out a like term, so you've got to get those together. We are solving for X. Notice they're on both sides, so we've got to get them together first before we can pull them out. So pause the video, try it, and then come back and see if you got it right. So the final answer is X equals 5A minus 4B divided by G minus C. And you can think about this G minus C being a whole little couple. Now, if you had this opposite because you move things a little bit differently, you just also always need to check your signs. If they're exact opposite that the answer choice gives. So like, for example, this is a positive 5A and over here I have a negative 5A. This was a negative 4B and I have a positive 4B. And then down here I had a positive G and over here it's a negative G and negative C and over here it's a positive C. Those are exactly the same answer. So be careful about that. Um, don't think that you're wrong just because you did it, uh, you moved something a little bit differently. Maybe you moved over the GX over first and vice versa and that's what would cause you to get the second option. All right, so you have some practice. 
Um, take your time, use the highlighter method, and step by step.